All right, guys, we got our ADC 260 Mercedes kit in with our EIS cables. You guys can see right here, three different, four different ones. You have one, two, three, and four. It's 2601 through four. We have our 260 here, our IR reader. We're going to do a W210. Simulate all keys lost. This is out of a 03 Mercedes E Class E320. Uh, we're going to go to E Class right here. It's a 210 um, E Class. This one shows an 03, but I'm going to go through the 99 to 02. All right, let's go to Tips and Hints to tell us, see if we have what cable we're going to use here. Actually, it might be an info. This one shows, you can see all keys lost cable down here at the bottom, ADC 2604. Go here and grab this. Go ahead and plug that into the EIS right here. Just snaps in like so. Okay, grab our OBD, plug that in. <clears throat> I'm sure we're going to need to power this up as well. So I'm going to use old trusty MVP cable. Plug it in. We got 12 volts, so we're good to go. So let's go ahead and connect. Can't switch the ignition on. We have our Yoko lookalike, Mercedes keys. Unprogrammed key won't turn on, so we're just going to leave that. We're going to hit OK. All right, there's all of our info right there. Make sure you guys can see that. Here, I'll move this camera up. All right, so we're gonna go to all keys lost. It says chassis code W210. Got our part number there. Go to all keys lost. This function is to calculate the key password when all keys are lost. We've already removed the EIS from the vehicle. We have 2604 already plugged in. We got our ADC 260 here ready to go with our key emulator insert. So yes, we're gonna continue. We're on the internet as well, it is required. May need our emulator in here. I'm not 100% sure. Go ahead and stick it in there just to have anyway. All right, so there's our SSID for our EIS. All the key info you can see key one, two, three, four, five, six have been used already. <clears throat> so we've already. Somebody's already had eight keys for this, or six keys for this, sorry. So we're gonna hit okay. So, there's our used, shows number seven and number eight are unused. I usually use the last one, uh, just in case you get a dealer tool, you don't wanna use, or a dealer key, you don't wanna take up the next spot, so I use the last one. We'll hit key eight, okay. So we have internet, we're already good to go. We're gonna hit okay. Okay, so we're gonna hit no. Because we don't have the password, so it's gonna have to calculate it for us. All right, 
Just finish the calculation. As you can see, key password calculation complete. We're going to hit OK. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and stick our Ilco lookalike in there. We're going to hit yes. Reading the key. Just writing it. So it's generated successfully. All right, this function emulates the steering lock, allowing a program key to be verified in the EIS. So this software has the emulator data built into it. So we're gonna hit OK. So we're gonna take the key we just programmed, put it into the EIS. You hear the EIS click, can be turned. If it was not programmed, it would not turn. So as you can see, it turns. Um, I'll show you an example. I have another 210 EIS right here. I'm gonna take the key we just programmed. Obviously, it doesn't go to this EIS. Full turn. So, as you can see, put it in, and it turns just fine. So, we'll go ahead and take it out. We'll hit cancel. Procedure complete. And there you are. That's the procedure you would have for all keys lost on a 2003 Mercedes Benz E Class. Obviously, you'd have to remove this from the vehicle and then reinstall it. Put your cables in and your shift lock, and you'd be good to go.